serving the underserved in our community. The majority of the people that come through the doors here are uh, poor. They were born poor. They, they live poor. They're poor that way right now. So they didn't ever actually have those opportunities that somebody with cash may have to be able to learn how to play piano, to do guitar and other things, uh, to be able to have access to fine art and plays and dramas and be able to see stage lighting and, and have uh, good audio. So they have gone through their lives really living on the fringe of society because they don't have the opportunity to fit in with cash. And so the people that come here to Influence Music Hall are people who really are getting to relive their childhood in that as adults, they have access to the same things that people with money have. They they get to come here and, and experience that for themselves right here at Influence Music Hall. So you have adults that didn't get a chance to learn as a child what they're being allowed to learn today and experience. So when we had first started the organization and we were about two years into it, we had an idea that we applied for a grant with the National Endowment of the Arts. And they were so interested in the idea that we had uh, that they actually sent representatives from Washington, D.C. to meet with us. And when they met with us and they interviewed us, what they told us was that you needed to have at least three years of tenure that most nonprofit organizations don't make it past three years. Don't, most don't make it past a year. So to get to that three year mark meant that you were serious and that you were probably gonna be successful. And uh, we're getting ready to enter our 13th year. And we're still here and we're still doing this as a nonprofit. But even though we haven't applied for a grant with the National Endowment of the Arts since that first time, we have applied for other grants and we do find it interesting that Although we have uh, written testimonies, the number of people that are involved in music and art and find themselves suicidal is really quite alarming. And I say that because we deal with it day in and day out here at Influence. And uh, again, we're dealing with an underserved community and the written testimonies that we have of people who said that they were ready, they were done with life and getting beat up and that they were gonna end it, but they heard there was an open mic and they thought they'd go listen to some music and they came and found a community of people who not only believed them, but it, it believed in them, but embraced them and gave them a community where they felt good and safe and they, they've made friends and uh, we have written testimonies like that. So I've never really understood exactly what it takes to convey what we do. I, I suppose it's a matter of uh, developing the proper verbiage. I, I just, I'm not sure how to communicate it, but we have applied for a lot of grants and uh, been turned down. And the cultural coalition came in and said, we believe in you. I mean, the smiles on, the smile that is on my face is reflected for every volunteer that comes into this organization and all the parents of uh, people that come in and go through the music and the, the lives that are engaged now in, in the community. Uh, it's just the, the smiles are unending. Again, I got to thank the cultural coalition of Washington County for reaching the underserved community and making a huge difference. Over on the wall behind me, you'll see that there are guitars, uh, there are amplifiers, uh, we have uh, the, the piano, we have the XR18 sound system and the, the instruments required to operate that, uh, that we received through our uh, Cultural Coalition of Washington County grant. And absolutely, in this particular venue, it does not matter who you are, you can come in and you can make music or uh, join with the uh, artists in this group and, and participate. There is absolutely zero discrimination. And I can say that, you know, if you have somebody walk in and they, they've got uh, tattoos and periods and whatever else, probably not necessarily going to feel really good in a super fine art facility, but they're at home here. Influence Music Hall uh, has been serving downtown Hillsboro. Like I said, we're going into our 13th year. Uh, and what this place has been is a... Uh, 
it's a launching pad for performance and for fine art like you see in the gallery and what you see on the stage on a regular basis. And so what um, Influence Music Hall is about no matter who you are, no matter what your genre of art or music, no matter how old you are, uh, no matter how good you are, no matter how long you've been playing or how short a time you've been playing, you have a, a, a place on this stage and in this venue, you're a star. And uh, so you're going to be treated that way. The XR18 has helped a couple of different things. Number one, getting the grant from the Cultural Coalition of Washington County helped us to feel validated. That in and of itself is so huge. You guys took the chance to believe in us. We've been working at this for 12 years. We clearly have a track record that we're willing to do what we say we're doing, and we do it. And you said you believe, and that really has given us wind in our wings, and we're ready to move on and, and, and to continue to grow. And we have the ability to do more now, and we're still in the learning process. Oh my gosh, a life that continues to learn and grow is, that's what life is. And, and that's where it just gets better and better and better and I do want to say thank you for for giving us the gift of believing in us